March 11, 2011. The Great East Japan Earthquake and Tsunami Strike. Magnitude 9.0. The quake, the largest ever measured in Japan, hit the Pacific coast of Japan from the northeastern Tohoku region to the Kanto metropolitan region. 30 million tons of disaster waste were left behind by the huge tsunami triggered by the earthquake. This is the equivalent of about 70% of the total amount of domestic waste generated in the whole of Japan in an ordinary year. Even residents whose homes were spared suffered poor living conditions. Rotting waste gave off bad odors and led to a rise in vermin. Some of the waste even caught fire. Japan faced the urgent problem of disposing of this enormous amount of disaster waste, not only appropriately, but also smoothly and speedily, so as to achieve the recovery and reconstruction of disaster-affected areas as quickly as possible. Let us now explain the process and method of cleaning up and disposing of disaster waste in Japan. First, the debris was removed in order to save lives and reopen roads. Without any sorting into recyclable, unrecyclable, and combustible, non-combustible items, the waste was gathered and transported to temporary storage sites. There, it was sorted using machinery and other equipment. After removing bulky waste, such as concrete debris and waste timber, metals and other valuables, and harmful or dangerous substances, such as asbestos, were each separated and transported to appropriate disposal facilities. At each site, disaster waste was crushed and sorted again using machinery. In addition, waste metal, stones, pieces of wood, concrete fragments, and so on were retrieved from the pulverized waste by hand, one piece at a time. Any precious personal items belonging to disaster victims that were found in the process, such as photographs, were sorted out separately, carefully stored, and returned to the owners. After that, the disaster waste was crushed and carefully sorted once more. Finally, following a policy of using anything that was viable as construction material, Recyclable waste was processed for use in reconstruction. Through this process, we managed to recycle more than 80% of the total volume of disaster waste. Oil contaminated soil, sludge from the bottom of the sea, and sand that had been washed inland by the tsunami were also processed in soil cleansing facilities and turned into usable resources. Almost all of which have been utilized as reconstruction material. Of the rest, combustible waste was incinerated at high temperatures under a rigorous management regime that monitored exhaust gases.
and unrecyclable waste was appropriately disposed of in landfill. In this way, under the slogan, Gambaro Tohoku, Gambaro Japan, By March 2014, we had succeeded in processing over 30 million tons of disaster waste and setting affected areas firmly on the road to reconstruction. <laughs>